Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here today. I am very excited because we're checking out the Chromebook Pixel 2. And this is basically a web browser laptop. You can't do really anything much more with it. It retails for $1,000 and this is the low end version. There's a higher end version with better specs, but uh, I don't think there's a need for that one. I think with this one, you'll be pretty much all set for uh, web browsing. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. The box is pretty plain. It's uh, very simple. All you have is a Chromebook Pixel logo right here. And we also have, of course, the famous light bar with the Google colors. But yeah, let's take it out of the shrink wrap here and uh, check it out because I'm pretty excited for this. Considering Apple's also getting into the space of uh, web only notebooks with the new MacBook, although you can install more things on the MacBook than you can with this, they primarily serve the same purpose. So, you know, this is really a competitor to Apple's MacBook and vice versa. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and remove this, all of this. It's a very heavy box, by the way. It's definitely not very light. It came in a very big cardboard box inside a box. So there's two boxes. So this thing was not going to break at all. The box was not going to get damaged. Of course, for $1,000, you should expect that. But yeah, we uh, pull this up like so. And we get really nice packaging. Everything is, of course, really well packaged and, uh, of course, built. And we're first greeted with this beautiful laptop here, which, by first impressions, it does weigh a good amount. I mean, it's a very solid laptop. It almost feels like a really solid piece of aluminum. But yeah, let's go ahead and put that to a side over here. And now it says let's get started, power on, find network, log in or sign up, and then launch the apps. So you are gonna need a Google account for this if you wanna get it set up because it pretty much runs on a Chrome browser, which is uh, interesting, you know? Here we have the power, here we have the, oh, this is an extender and then this is just the regular charger. We of course have the new USB-C type charger, which is, uh, you know, very interesting. You can do a lot of things with it and uh, definitely better than the old chargers. And it's cool that more and more laptops are gonna be using this now. But uh, yeah, that's all you get in the box. It's pretty simple, nothing nothing all too special. What's important here though, is the actual computer itself. What's great is that it's set to have a 12 hour battery life. So it's more than the new MacBook that Apple just announced. It's a little bit, in my opinion, nicer build quality. It just has a cleaner design. We don't have any Apple logo or anything like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and take it out of this sleeve here to, uh, you know, see the actual uh, Chromebook Pixel. But uh, yeah, you know, it's very similar to an Apple product in the way that it's packaged, although Google has been doing that for quite some time now as well. All right, so here is the Chromebook Pixel itself. Of course, it's made out of aluminum. It's uh, faster than the previous model, has better specs. And uh, I mean, you of course have the new port over here. We have two USBs, we have a headphone jack, on the left side. On the right side, we have an SD card reader and another USB-C type, it looks like. So uh, yeah, it definitely has a lot of ports, enough ports to you know, get some work done and put some things. I know Apple has been getting a lot of slack for having put no ports on the new MacBook. But yeah, so this is an actual contender to this. If you're considering the new MacBook, then you definitely should be considering this new Chromebook. You you, you're not really getting anything less nor anything more. If you're looking for anything that just browses the internet where you can get work done, if you work online, then these laptops are gonna be enough. I know a lot of people don't understand that and they say that this is a lot of money for a laptop, but uh, there's a lot of people that work only online and use only websites to get their work done. And these laptops do that while being very minimal, very nice, very cool build qualities and uh, you know, we have this really nice keyboard here, which feels like a MacBook. I mean, you know, they, they feel just great. We have a little search button right here and, uh, you know, Chrome specific buttons right there. But yeah, basically I just uh, opened the computer and it turned on by itself. And uh, I guess it's doing an update and which is doing it pretty quickly. And yeah, I mean, the display is beautiful. I mean, it looks, you know, just like, any high density display right now out in the market. And uh, it goes pretty bright too, which is nice. All right, so right now it's rebooting because it just installed the update. 
And uh, just in case you wanna know some specs, this has an Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM, a 32 gigabyte SSD, and uh, you can get it in an Intel Core i7, and that's the higher end model, which has 64 gigabyte SSD. And uh, yeah, this was free shipping. It was around $1,050, I believe, with the tax. And uh, here I'm gonna go sign into my Gmail account. So yeah, you still get the same display that uh, we had in the last Chromebook Pixel, which um, I'm not a, I haven't really gotten enough chance to use it for too long to uh, really tell you if it's bad or good. But I've really always been a fan of the traditional, you know, not squared displays just because uh, I like to watch videos and things like that. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people had problems with in the last Chromebook Pixel was actually watching YouTube videos or just movies in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up YouTube here. And uh, everything should load pretty quickly. There shouldn't be any problems with the loading here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one of my latest videos because, uh, you know, just to check that out. Why not? And let's go ahead and skip through. So see how quickly that skips through. And let's put that in 1080p and then we're gonna full screen it. Everything seems really fast though. And yeah, everything seems to be working well, just fine. It doesn't seem to be any stuttering issues. Let's look for a 4K video uh, nature. Let's see that. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in 4K. And uh, I think this is really important because you, if, if, you, if this will play fine, then uh, you know we shouldn't have any problems with other things. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. We're 17 minutes into the video here to skip. And uh, it's buffering. Hopefully it does play it. And uh, I mean, yeah, so as I was saying, this is really a good alternative or, you know, to Apple's new MacBook. If you're considering Apple's new MacBook, then you should really be considering this one right here. And uh, that's mainly because they're the same thing. You of course can install other things, maybe some games on the MacBook that you can't install here because this is only on web apps. I believe you can install Linux on this. I'm not gonna get into that because I wouldn't want to install Linux on this. But uh, you can if you wanna do a little bit more things with it. But primarily a web browser because a lot of people do just want to browse the web in a nice fashion and something that's not gonna lag or have any trouble opening 18 tabs on Chrome. But uh, yeah, the video is playing just fine here. There is no stuttering, of course, this is just still nature, but everything looks good. And it's of course 4K, so, uh, um, and I also noticed the scrolling is reversed, kind of like on the, how Apple does it. Yeah, you scroll up and it goes down, vice versa. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything just seems to work as it should. If you open your Chrome browser on any laptop, it's basically the same experience. But uh, you do get a few extra things here. I mean, the dock and everything looks kind of cool. It's all very minimal and simple. You can, of course, change the, the wallpapers. If you've used uh, Chrome OS before in the cheaper laptops, it's basically the exact same thing. And everything just looks great, works great. And you shouldn't have any problem with it. And I believe that you know you, you are probably gonna get the 10 or 12 hours that Google says has a better battery life than the new MacBook, as I mentioned. So uh, definitely worth considering as an actual thing to get work done. And of course you do have the uh, touch screen, which if you want to do that, you can. Uh, I don't know in how many cases the touch screen actually does come in handy. Um, you know, you're just gonna get the screen really dirty by doing so. And yeah, that's mainly it here. I mean, let's go to speed test, run a speed test on this to see how much, um, speed we're getting here if it's any faster than my iMac but yeah one thing I also want to mention is that of course this is not going to be your main computer this is great for someone like me who has something like an iMac at home which you can edit on and do really powerful things on but this is not great for someone who needs something to get different types of work done so if you need Photoshop if you need After Effects if you need all those things this is not going to work at all like just run away from these laptops even the new MacBook but uh, if you have already a desktop computer, a powerful machine at home, and you just need a secondary computer for work on the go, at school, wherever it may be, then it's where these laptops come in that make a lot of sense. And this is getting pretty much the exact same thing that I get with my other laptops, although this is pretty much where 
it stops. But uh, yeah, that is that, guys. There's not much to it. Everything runs smoothly as you would expect. Of course, I'm going to be testing this out, and I'll probably do a full review on this. And uh, yeah, keyboard feels nice. The trackpad, of course, everything is great. It's the quality you would expect. The hinge is nice. You don't have to hold the laptop down to open it. Of course, it's going to slide right here on this table, but uh, it opens very nicely. And uh, you, of course, get the light bar here that lights up when uh, you know you do several things. You can double tap here, and it'll give you the battery status, which is you know, very cool and futuristic. What I like most about this is you got no logos. It's a very simple laptop, and uh, for any minimalist out there, you're going to really appreciate Google's design. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions on this laptop, feel free and leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, that's it for this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.